Clyde, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the UFC. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night 10. Tom Aspinall work in training and during his amateur and early pro career felt like they were looking at a future UFC heavyweight champion. Tom Aspinall has every skill you would want from a big man. Moves exceedingly well. His speed is going to be a real problem in, in theory for the opposition tonight. And most of these heavyweights just are not as fleet of foot. That says nothing of his grappling game. This is the longtime grappling coach for Team Calvon. He has every skill in his mixed martial arts arsenal. And scary proposition for the rest of the heavyweight division. Can't get worse. All right, both fighters have entered the octagon. And this massive, massive fight is nearly upon us. Ready to go from Anaheim at the Honda Center with one of the biggest fights of the year. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, this. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Tom. So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. Ready. Go. Dateline, Anaheim, California, USA. Good to have you with us inside Honda Center tonight. This has become an annual stop for the MMA leader, and there have been any number of signature performances that have gone down inside these doors. I'm not sure any place has had more title challenges than the Honda Center, especially the heavyweight division. A great place to heavyweight fight. Guillotine jump. This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get sub. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. you got to defend. But you can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. He's got to start throwing now. Lands a big elbow there. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Mm, that was nice. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Great job landing from the top position. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar, just get the ground and pound. He can't attack submissions, but those submissions will present themselves 
once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling, or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. He's having his way with him here. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape, or maybe look for a Kimura here. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity patting. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Oh, that cut is getting worse with every passing ground strike as he lands again. Under two minutes to go. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Oh, another blow lands on the cut. Critical situation now. He's a bloody mess. Grounded pound strike here. Scramble and go! Scramble and go! Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. All right, north south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. All of that body weight on his opponent. Now potentially working on a submission instead. Oh, he bails on the submission now. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys oh. so many opportunities. Round two straight ahead. Oh, fuck, fuck. All right, there's Stop. the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay right, in this fight see. because that is a severe Relax. cut that he's Slow dealing that with right now. Right it's okay. We expected this type of fight. We trained for this. We're bloody. All right, back to the stools we go. Offensively, a lot to like from him, but on defense, he hasn't been able to stop anything tonight. Yeah, it's got to be the whole game, though, John. He's got to be willing and able to do everything. He's done a good job on the offensive side, but he has not defended well, and now he's dealing with that nasty cut. That cut is going to be an issue as the fight goes forward. He's got to change something. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Single power time. Busy in the clinch. Lands that punch. He's going to get team. Oh, so how about that position over submission as he bails on the sub? I think that's a great job. You've got to make sure you don't end up in a worse position because you're trying to score a submission. Oh, submission attempts in bunches tonight. Oh, that rear naked choke is tight. job to escape creativity getting to that submission but also creative defense in order to survive that submission beautiful ground strikes landed 
got to be careful here. He's very accurate in the ground and pound in this. Oh, he's got his back. Well, this is some serious pressure from the top by Espinal. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Great defense by the fight. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Oh, he's working for the sub. In the half guard. Well, some might describe this as critical condition. That eye is absolutely mangled. I wouldn't be surprised to see us get a stoppage here soon. Yeah, I mean, John, you look at his face. He's been beaten up for a very long time. I could see the doctor coming into the ring, looking at the cut and saying, I've seen enough. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Aspinall. There it is. Now he's run the out. Aspinall's looking for that arm triangle now. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Very smart there. You never favor submission over a dominant position. Oh, he's got his knee on the belly, raining down punches here. Strikes nicely here from top position. All right, feet on the hips here. All oh, the damage just continues to be inflicted. And with respect to the athletes, if this was a movie, I might just walk out. I don't need to see it anymore. I mean, I just don't need to see it. it, it it's to a point now where it's getting a bit uncomfortable. You have a fighter who's clearly outmatched, and his corner will not save him. This is crazy. Oh, what do we got here? It looks like an arm triangle attack. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. As he gets out. That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mound? Aspinall's back in full goal. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, he got to his spot. Aspinall's an absolutely bloody mess right now. Cutman knows he's got his work cut out for him between rounds. Ground and pound strike there now. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Now he's going full mount. Final seconds here of round two. Now drops inside that close guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or a big round of All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, take a seat for me, bud. Breathe. Deep. deep breath in. All right, here's some water. Ready? Listen. All right. And you're doing awesome out there. All right, so there's the end of the round. We had a big submission attempt there midway through, but largely the submission defense held up. It was in tight. We thought the fight was over, but stayed patient, stayed calm, relaxed, and found his way out of that deep submission. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. Yeah, man, you Ready see two high-level grapplers Ready. going after it. Good. One guy gets the advantage, the other guy always has a response. We thought it was over. A lesser opponent would have been submitted, but the oh, so oh, that's 
got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. Not being just offensive, but offensive off of his back. Great punch lands. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Lands with the ground and pound here. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Beautiful transition. Oh, right into Mount. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strike. Posture's up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. And how much more can he take? Oh, well, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Nice shots landing from the top position. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Great shot from the top position. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. Looking to land the right just out of range. job understanding the transition. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Another ground and pound strike lands. That was a slick transition. Lands the ground and pound strike. Get them out here. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off his back, DC. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. We're now headed to the championship rounds. Heading back to the corner now. 
Aspinall's eye is in real trouble, folks. That does not look good. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see the ringside physician be called on here. He might even stop the fight. We'll see. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue on the path in order to make the cut worse. Ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is the fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round to fight. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Beautiful jab lanes. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. Oh, gives up on the submission now, so preferring to maybe get to a dominant position instead. Good work from the top here by Aspen. He goes back to the well and lands another strike from the top. And now you can see the swing. Setting up another submission. Oh, he's got the arm in tight. You gotta be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. Was able to withstand the fire. Now he finds himself out and safe. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground. Team. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Champ, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting denied. Yeah, because he's not panicking. He's taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch a guy comfortable even when he's under attack. With the ground and pound. Like that. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Two minutes have gone by. Massive shot lands. It's over, John. Fight's done. Oh, he's setting up for a submission now. Heel hook looks tight. Submission there, but he escapes and gets back to his feet. Very nice. Good solid strike on the ground. Aspinall's cut on his cheek is nasty. Leaky, leaky. That thing is leaking bad now. All right, so the fighter's able to reverse position on the ground, and now he's got the dominant position. Yeah, what a great job recognizing that once he got the reversal, he went right to his offense. He didn't wait, John. He did a good job of while his opponent goes, oh my goodness, I lost the position. He said, no, no, we're not done. I'm going to get to a dominant position myself. Nice sub attempt. That submission looks tight. Defense holds up, he gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Watch a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities where you can either escape or sweep. Mm, nice. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. Oh, man, that was smooth. Work, let's turn it up. Work. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. On his back now, he's going for the rear naked choke. Did he escape that submission?
There it is. Now he's won the mount. Well, the striking clinic continues, and he's wise to attack that already damaged area upstairs. He's attacking that damaged area for the opponent. He's got to get that head moving on an X. Cannot be straight on the center line. That center line, you got. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Aspinall is able to flatten him out. Really pressing on him now. Opponent's belly flat on the mat. And 20 minutes down. Potentially five to go. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, they attend to the fighter on the stool, and I guess if you are going to be cut open, cheek ain't a bad place for it. Yeah, it's the best spot, right? You never want to be cut. You never want to be bleeding. But if it's on the cheek, it's as good of a spot as it can be. But you still got to do something different, though, because even though the blood isn't going in your eye, every time you get hit there, it's horrible. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's Fifth and final round. Right, the action continues here, and now as our next round gets underway, and man, these guys still look fresh as if they haven't even started fighting tonight. Pretty impressive. Both of them have a huge reputation for being fit. Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. Oh, that guillotine is official. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. Ground and pound the hammer, Mark Coleman would be proud. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. Now he's got an arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get enough pressure to finish his technique. How do you get out of harm's way? I mean, you got to shove that knee, John. Now he's going full mount. Now he's got a good body position, yup. Posture's up now, that's a vicious head strike. How'd he take it? Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Great ground and pound by this man. Now inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Oh, right into mount. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Oh, big shots from the top. Just because he got taken down doesn't mean he ain't gonna punch. Lands a beautiful strike from the bottom. Aspinall's back in full guard now. He passes to half guard. Right into side control. Oh, good defense, yes. Two minutes now to go in this one. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Big ground and pound. Oh, this could be over soon. This is a terrible position. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. Well, 
eventually he's going to try to get up, but he's moving his head pretty well here to avoid damage on the back. You don't want to be comfortable on your back, but when you're taken down, you got to make sure you're active. Right That's exactly what he's doing. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Under a minute now to go in this one. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Constantly a moving target. Oh my goodness! What a fight! So no judges needed tonight as he pounds him out for the TKO. I'm hoping I get an invite to the after <laughs> All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. The official decision, it resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 11 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Big. Well, DC, you know how much I love crowning new champions yeah. and when we get to see these men and women realize these dreams. But to do it at heavyweight, man, just incredible to see this guy realize a UFC title. And you look at the emotion on his face. You can tell that this is a dream that he has had for a long time. And now it is realized. Congratulations to the champ and his entire team. And best of luck trying to defend it, oh, by the yeah, way. Oh, yeah, man. This is volatile. Look, they got a whole bunch of hungry wolves lining up to take that belt.